this time we are going to take a look at a runner who has been having some pain intermittently in the right heel for the past nine months this pain also sometimes occurs on the left heel when asking a little more about this she seems to resent with the pain more so around the heel and plantar fascia area this seems to be more so present as she runs at higher intensity paces now let's just take a closer look at her running and i'll share some insight to help with this now if pain is becoming a limiting factor when running one of the simplest things to do is to decrease the pace of the runs this is an effective way to decrease the amount of force going through the foot with each step this also changes a few things biomechanically but i'll talk about that a little later anyway when typically working with a runner i try my best to keep them running if appropriate if speed seems to aggravate the feet you can still work on building the endurance and aerobic capacity. So some advice I may give to this runner is to decrease the pace a bit. Then, I typically build up these runs through increasing frequency of the runs, duration, and intensity. I typically do this in its order, however, it also depends on other variables such as her goals and time constraints in her day or week. Now, another simple thing to do may be to try to run on flatter surfaces for now. The reason I say this is because running on hilly terrain, especially going uphill, can put increased load on the area and could irritate it. Eventually, I do love layering in hill work, but this may not be the appropriate time to do so at this moment. Now, moving forward, another thing to point out here is her step rate. Here she presents with a cadence or step rate of around 220 steps per minute. That seems to be a pretty high step rate, but then again, it's a high effort pace. Also, some of this increase in step rate could be attributed to the terrain as she seems like she's going slightly downhill here. Now, increasing step rate can also be a way to decrease the amount of load placed on the leg with each step. This is because if she maintains a similar pace while increasing her step rate, this would decrease her step length. By doing so, you do not have to generate as much force with each step, which could also decrease the amount of force placed on the foot. While this would initially seem to help with the foot, trying to simply maintain a high step rate may not be as helpful as it seems in this case. This is because to keep this kind of step rate, she seems to be using more of a strategy that relies on landing on the forefoot as the foot hits the ground. By using this kind of strategy, more load may be distributed on the calf and foot region and therefore may contribute to irritating the area. To address this, she could try to land more flat-footed or more so close to the midfoot and rear foot region. Doing so would redistribute forces more toward the knee, but less in the calf and foot. While she could be more mindful of her landing to do this, probably the easiest way to do it is to again, just decrease her pace as she runs as people tend to land closer to the rear foot region during lower intensity runs. And that is some insight on strategies to help her continue running. To keep a long story short, the simplest ways to do this would be to run at lower intensity paces where the foot is not irritated and try to avoid hilly terrain. By doing so, the biomechanical pieces that I mentioned in this video should sort itself out. Now even though I went over this, there are plenty more things that are important to consider like recovery strategies such as looking at sleep, hydration, and diet, as well as strength and conditioning. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'd love to hear your thoughts and any questions you may have. And as always, thank you for watching.